<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? We are live with Navi versus Chazmac GS, and we have a special guest today. It is Susie on the channel today. She's going to be co casting with us here, and this is the introduction of the Susie Cup. So it's a new tournament that's starting off here, and to celebrate it, the show match is going to be creative attacks only, and we're kicking it off here with Nairomi with a skelly, no, not, not skeletons, just bat spells, recall, a warden walk, and super dragons. This is quite the interesting start here, and that's kind of the point of the day here, is, uh, Susie. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much for uh, joining me here. And yeah, like, uh, I saw Nia Rome restarting with the super dragons because I really believe the super dragons aren't that strong, especially on the town hall 15. So I am very happy to see him that he is trying uh, something uh, again with them. But yeah, uh, with the bad donut, he was able to clear the eagle and the multi inferno. Now he's trying to clear the second inferno. And I think so the scatter shot can actually uh, will go down thanks to the flame finger. Here. Yeah, and he also intercepted the skeletons that popped in that compartment with the fire that was already on the ground there. A couple of invisibilities protect the warden, who really is not giving up those healers. Like, he was able to clear out everything to push them north on the base there and ultra tight in joints. He has a little bit of a funnel form on the outside there with a couple of balloons, and he's gonna end up pushing right into that scatter shot and take out the defensive row champion. But that kind of leaves us to the super dragons to push through the town hall, and that town hall area. I guess he's gonna have one freeze, one rage, and a recall. What the heck do you use a recall for this, Susie? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what he's actually gonna try to recall. I don't know, maybe Queen, and I use her for the funnel for the dragons. I'm not sure, but you were saying that will be one one star coming from a chance like GS, and we will maybe. be ending on the town hall <laughs> because so far he cleared that bottom side of the base. Like, it is seriously, everything is nicely uh, done. But now we have like one minute left, okay. and he recalls. He recalled the warden with the queen here, but no healers. Yeah. Well, he got some of the healers, I think. Well, it looks like Electric Titan comes out of the Flame Flinger on the side of the base there, was able to take that defensive queen down, and the recall, redeploy. Oh, there were no healers. It was just the queen and the warden, so I'm sure that was a potential mistake there. I don't know, but he has the ward ability he can now use with the Super Dragons, and he still has a pretty decent amount of time, and one of the healers even survived to work with that Electric Titan on the left side of the base. Yeah, we have only 35 seconds and we still need to like clear 20% of the base now who went he invisible. So the dragons are Susie. ignoring. Yeah. This, the Ro champion is just now coming out here into the town hall and with that ability wiping out all the backside defenses. All right, well, that's crushed. Uh, I think uh, they Romy definitely started off here as a very cool attack comes in for our first oh. triple of the war here. Easy day, they really gets it done. That was good. That was really cool. That was completely bizarre too. Okay, are you feeling now a little bit worried about your prediction after this hit? Um Nah, they're good. They're good. Oh, Klaus will do something on. crazy. This one was so cool. <laughs> Recall. That, Super dragons. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, was, this one that was, was pretty very good. creative hit. And yeah, just like in the first triple. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll see. Well, we'll see. I, you, you think when you have that crazy of an attack that you're gonna... like That, that was like a warden walk, then the heroes, then get in the funnel formed again on the other side there after the heroes walked like half the base and then still had plenty of time to finish it. Like the, the fact that that didn't end up with a time fail is bizarre. And the fact that he has so much time at the end is even more crazy, you know? Yeah, I'm, I am so surprised uh, how he even can make this plan, you know? Like, oh, yeah. I didn't even notice the Royal Champion. Like, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I, he almost could have swagged her. Like yeah. that, that Royal Champion was almost swag. Like for real. That was pretty crazy. It was. All right, who's going next? Here we go. All right. Returning fire will be Klaus coming right out of the gate here. The most creative attacker in the world that everybody loves to see. Looks like he's got Super Minions Dragon Riders. He's got Rocket Bloons, Regular Bloons, Recall, Bats, Lightning. There's a little bit of everything in this attack <laughs> here. But let's see what Klaus can do with it. Yeah, he have like 10 uh, regular wall breakers, but he has the recall spell like near overhead, so... And this is very Are you trying to say he's gonna recall the wall breakers? <laughs> I don't know. 
But it's so hard to predict like what he is actually gonna do, you know. Uh, Lusa, yeah. we will be coming in here with the uh, blim, so we're gonna uh, make sure that downhill will go down. I really love when uh, people are using the headhunters, you know, when I also sending the blim because mm -hmm. you could tell how quickly that enemy queen went down. And now he's recalling uh, the heroes. Well, like, yeah, I mean, the warden. But... Well, the warden and the queen there, after he got the defensive queen out of the way there, using the ward ability to protect the blimp. But at the same time, he was combining that with the Zap Quake, and then he was able to get the defensive queen down while that ward ability was active as well. So now with the queen redeployed at the top of the base here, he's got a poison for those headhunters. He's got another poison that he can send in afterwards, but the warden does take a lot of damage up top. And he's still hanging in here, Susie, so some potential, but he needs to clear out everything that could threaten these super minions and i don't even know how to even set that up there because super minions are such an obscure troop in general yeah that water is so low held like the headhunters did some work and even the enemy uh lava pops and he's sending now this uh regular wall breaker so i guess he's opening the wall for the king to go for the scatter shot now he lost the ward and he still have not a set of the uh wall breakers here uh even the mm -hmm. royal champion coming in and she will have to fight that enemy RC if the king will not take care of it uh, well, the king's got the phoenix, so he should be able to get the Roar Champion down there. But the Roar Champion is going to continue all the way to air defense here. So if he can get this air defense up at the top of the base there down, then he can work his way through there. But here we go with the bat spells, a handful of blues, the two dragon riders from the bottom. Starting to drop in super minions for cleanup, holding on to the rest of these rocket balloons and another seven super minions still on standby. And there's a lot of base left here, but he's still got a lot of time to work with, and he's got a pretty decent number of troops. I like the outranging of the scatter shot on the right side to dive in there with a very minimal investment to go after that scatter shot. So he'll attempt it again, and he also gets the air defense on the left side. There's a chance here with ground expos and two multi infernos, and he's still moving strong. Yeah, but I'm still kind of worried about that core of the base. There's still mo uh, two multi infernos. That one last uh, dragon rider, he just lost it. So he's down to like what? One super minion which he has on the bar. Mm -hmm. And these two super minions are very low HP. Yeah, well, the rage tower is going to fade. So if he can clear the trash on the bottom here and get past that defensive king. Yeah, I think he's going to end up with a time fail here. I think he may potentially be able to get that inferno down if he has enough time. And then. Ah, oh, no, it's not going to go through. All right, well. <laughs> it looks like uh, Miss for Klaus as the uh, Matrix continues to try to take over my stream and cause glitches on my screen. But don't worry about that. <laughs> That's uh, They're also after Klaus here, apparently, as he comes in into the high 80s, but clearly not enough to get the triple done. Yeah, exactly. But this was a really uh, interesting plan from him. Like, seven super minions, if that was in the total. Sorry, nine super nine, mini nine. minions. Yeah. And you just kind of was trying to clear the defenses around uh, with the heroes, you know, so it was interesting fun, yeah. but Eric, it is halt for just my GS. I feel yeah, pretty I mean, we... safe here. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it's going to be hard to get any triples in this format. So like the fact that they were able to pick up one right out of the gate there is going to really, really help them out because I definitely would expect that we would see maybe one or two triples per team here that would be conservative being how difficult it is to break out these weird armies but ryuda not gonna be discouraged by that will let that invisibility tower fade and then he'll continue to go invisible and he gets them to transfer after the invisibility tower switches you definitely don't expect that to ever be a thing but wait no he didn't the get CC doesn't cancel. go down CC. He made it uh, made Clan Castle invisible! It's <gasps> so one small oh. mistake and now we will have to deal with the enemy Clan Castle troops and looks like we will go in here, uh, if I count it correctly, it was 8 uh, healers. So we are doing Wooden Walk and same time uh, Queen Charge as well and the Blizzarding for the Town Hall. Okay, well... That doesn't deal with the CC, but the Eagle Artillery is activated now. The Queen Walk is moving, but taking Eagle Artillery strikes here, and in a moment, the Expo strikes is going to be a lot of sustained damage on her for a while. He has the Warden Walk coming at the bottom of the base there, and doing the double hero charge in general is always very difficult when you have the Eagle Artillery standing, because the burst damage from it, especially when you don't have any rages, is going to be very difficult to overcome, but lots of Super Barbarians collapse in the left side of the base and push the Queen in. And he really needs to get this Eagle Artillery under control. It's going to cause a lot of problems very soon if he doesn't get it under control. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm, I'm, I'm starving a little bit because, like, we don't have much army life. Like, he's 
a hero have only the faith in these heroes. Like they, they are the most mm -hmm. important one they have to clear here. I like the queen. Uh, be, uh, she will be able to clear uh, both inferno. She didn't even decide to go to the right side. But we have RC there. Like he is already trying to hit an inferno. So royal champion coming to help. And yeah, we will be ending on the eagle. Like the queen already lost the healers, but we still have some of the healers which are following the warden. Right, but he does have the king under Phoenix right now, and he's continued to hold these expos while they're under the rage. So the queen ends up surviving with tanky transport over there. He gets the stun of the eagle artillery, stop those next strikes, frees up the expo. Now the only threat here queen. left, honestly, he's doing queen. really good right now. He has to get through the defensive row champion, freezes the row champion. And the healer is unfortunately stuck on the warden still. I'd love to see them transfer over, but he does get the row champion down. It's swarmed with the super barbarians. I think he's got it! What? <laughs> wow! I love this! That's it's impressive, Susie. Uh, you, you were saying before this attack, it is very hard to, you know, kind of hit that free star with the creative hits, but doesn't look like for Chasmag. I'm sorry, two for two on triples. <laughs> they, are, they are smashing it. And did you see that queen? Like, she switched the ball so mm -hmm, many mm -hmm. times. My. Oh, wow. man. What? Well, well, Susie, like, on top of that, like, going after a recovery of a Miss Skelly Donut is difficult enough. But doing it with a weird army is, like, ten times more difficult. So, like, that's that's pretty ridiculous that he's able to pull that off. Like, oh, man. That's... Maybe it was good CC right. that was lava for that warden. If that could be, like, kind of uh, more maybe. dangerous, you know, maybe uh, make a, like, huge difference. Because that mm -hmm. warden was fine, you know, like he was very safe and he was fighting the lava and after he had like troops to help with the lava pups. Yeah. So. Yeah, that, yeah, that it, it like it paced the warden and the royal champion to arrive into the main uh, brunt of the base there at the same time as the queen needed the support. So like the, the pacing ended up working out perfectly with that delay of the hound. Like if the, if the hound went to the queen, he probably would have been in a lot of trouble there. But here we go. All right, returning fire now will be Gaku. He's got super miners. He also brought the recall spell here. Two He's got them. eight healers. Okay, it's a, it's gonna be another double hero charge, but it'll be paired with the super miners this time. All right. Oh my god, <laughs> he wait. lost the queen. He lost the what, what? he lost the queen. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh, that didn't start well, Eric. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, and the goblins are for his uh, flame flinger, and even the headhunters chasing his uh, healers. Like I was first yeah. of all confused. We are bringing two recall spell. Like we are yeah, usually, if we are seeing, it's usually one recall spell. So I don't know. I really would like to know what this was planned. Like he was trying to or planning to recall both uh, heroes, but yeah, that queen uh, going down, he's now like totally mm -hmm. in the recovery uh, mode and uh, changing the plan. <laughs> I don't know. Well, he's still gonna recall and get the king out of there. Was he able to save his barbarians? I think he might have been able to pull a bunch of his barbarians out there with it, but Flamefinger op or is uh, under another threat now as he... Did he just recall uh, the know. ground over yes, by the king? He did. <laughs> Instead of free to pull. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I was like, did they change the effect how the recall looks like? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, I, oh. What oh. else are you going to use it for at that point, though? Like. <laughs> yeah, we just please swag the recall. Why not? Why yeah, not? I could see what he was trying to do with that first recall to get the queen out of there. After she like took the town hall, maybe an expo or two. But it is, I don't think I've ever seen an attack that used two recall that end up with the triple. That's a very bizarre thing. And he had the double hero charge and lost all the healers. So he still has the other healers to continue a raw champion charge for a bit longer here. You know, at least rack in a two star, but yeah, starting off uh, two stars of the deficit in this kind of a war is going to be very difficult. But I mean, necessarily, I, I mean, I'm going to shift the goalpost here real quick and I'll say that, uh, the the goal of the war here was never to win, it was just to have some fun. So oh, like whatever. That's where I'm going now. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh poor yeah. poor your 
our viewers, which were voting for Navi, you were saying their their channel points are very very safe. So yeah, mm -hmm, I have mm -hmm. uh, my moderator Rego in the chat. He's very like uh, famous making the clips, like especially making fun of me. But yeah, mm -hmm. this one gonna be clip forever. I will definitely uh, send you a copy of it. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Jataki and Chapo, thanks for those uh, roof sides. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, but I really, I'm sad. I, I wish we could sell that, you know, we could sell that plan with this two recall spell, but because I never ever seen the attack with the two recall spell. That would be like first mm -hmm. time. Yeah. I, I wish we could um, let him try again, you know, like, yeah. let him go to SC, you know, go try again, you know, that'd be, that'd be, sometimes when you see those crazy plans, I kind of want to see how it was supposed to play out and see if I ever had any chance in the first place. But like, Eric holding back tears? Nah, shut up. <laughs> Our chat's trolling me now. What'd you do, Susie? You turned them on me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, chat. Power of the chat. I like them. I like them a lot. Time's up for them, oh, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, but we still have plenty of attacks. Have I say, like, I uh, I believe that Chasma can do it, but also I believe we're probably going to see the one star. I'm not saying that Chasma GS will be hitting the one star, but I still think that's going to be some one star in this match. That's my yeah, it'll, uh, prediction. It'll probably be Chasmac in that way. They're gonna they're gonna throw one just to even the score out a little bit, you know, like it's just it's just good showmanship right there. You gotta yeah. you gotta make it look like it was an accident though, you know. Uh -huh, you gotta uh -huh. make it really close. Like it's like a ninety nine percent one star, you know. It's only that. I don't know. That'd be impressive. All right. <laughs> Two triples on the board and Chasmac GS in, in again. Okay, what do we got here? We have 14 Valks. 14 Valkyries with a bunch of invisibilities, bat skeletons. It's gotta be a Skelly Donut into Mass Valkyries. That's the only thing I can see working here, but he'll start in the Electro Dragon at the very bottom of the base here. Very, very, if not zero threats down there to that Electro Dragon, except for now Tess is popping in the area, but he goes for the Skelly Donut. And I've seen this base before from stars, and I've seen people do the Skelly Dondon before, but obviously they weren't pairing it with Valkyrie, so he's definitely got his work cut out for him here, Susie. Yeah, this is kind of reminding me uh XBB. Oh no! What did you do? Eric, we didn't get a monolith. The monolith yeah. is staying up, we only got the uh clan castle, but we saw Ryuta, okay? He recovered when he didn't get the clan castle with the uh Donut, so you know, mm -hmm. we can still do this. Uh, so far, that e dragon is still chasing the enemy king, but already getting some heat on the eagle. Okay, so we should uh, be able to uh, clear it. And we already have uh, the flame nope. finger in the action. Okay, never mind. All right, I should be quiet. <laughs> I am like you right now, jinxing everything. Oh my god, his uh, sneak is die on the giant ball. <laughs> Susie! Susie jinxed everything! She jinxed the She the Skelly Donut, she jinxed the Town Hall, and it's gonna jinx it all the way to a one star here. This is the comeback for Navi, I'm calling it now. Unless I just jinxed Navi. That's that's definitely a possibility. We're going for the double jinx though, we'll have to see. But he does deploy the Queen in on the opposite side of the Town Hall, and the Golem does go into the Eagle Artillery Compartment. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the Town Hall takedown here, Susie. I am in shock. We are sending even the Royal Champion from 6 o'clock. And I know that I was talking about one star, but I wasn't serious. <laughs> oh no, we could have hit one star. That is, how is it even possible to get a Town Hall now? Like, he has Dragon Rider with the Invisibility spell. Oh, that, I Ren. know what they are doing. He just like, how you say, they are trying to make this match very close. You know, that's the reason what is happening. Right, right, right. And, uh... Ren, when I said to make the one star look like an accident, like, I didn't mean like this, but... <laughs> it, it, he's just, like I said, yeah, you put out that one star for good showmanship, you know? Like, it, it's all planned. It's all scripted. We all know that, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> just to make the war more exciting. Oh, boy. Oh. He's going to get the percentage up here and do a decent amount at least there and cross into the 80s, but... Yeah, obviously the town hall needed to go down to the sea of goblins. What happened? Like, where was the tester to secure the traps by the town hall? I didn't. I 
was uh, focusing on the e dragon, which was uh, from nowhere start dying, you know. And after I just uh, saw the explosion and sneaky goblins disappear, so I thought that we were checking for the traps. I could be wrong. Well, either way, now's the chance for Navi to come back. So buckle up, let's go. Okay, it's All right, so good. Let's make it happen. Eighty-one, you know, even if we won, I know that star. they still got the lead. Oh, Unless Navi no. triples right now. Wait, where is the percentage going to land if Navi triples? If Navi triples 48. right now, they go to a 48. They're still going to be down on percentage pretty heavily. Like, that percentage was still good, even on the miss. So, like, GS still is going to control this war one way or another. But Navi definitely needs to make this one happen. And here we go. Wait, who is NYU? Yeah, you told me. I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> 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 but whoever, whoever it is... Yeah, I've never seen this uh, count play in Navi, so maybe a guest star, but he's going to be breaking out bats with recall and 15 super minions. He drops that blimp like to the Klaus. town hall. You, you think it is Klaus? I have no idea, but Klaus was coming today with the super minions, so... Do you think, do you think Klaus brings out two accounts, or do you think it's maybe... Oh, you know who it might be? It, it could be like a LP. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. Oh, that's good. Uh, it could be NYU. Yeah. I'll have to ask him after this attack here. But let's see if he's able to get it done first. The Warden Walk okay. is able to push into the Lava Hound. And it, he doesn't have anything to deal with the Lava Pups over there. So Teferi props in an Archer to assist. Two Archers, actually. But they end up dying pretty quickly. The Warden's just going to be delayed there for a bit. The Queen is going to make her way into the Multi-Inferno, hopefully. I think she goes in. Super Minions come down to go after the other Multi-Inferno up there. He's a uh, the Because of the uh, Lava Pups. Like, the Lava Pups yeah. are also hitting the healers as well. Okay. Oh, okay. They're okay here, Susie. More right. Super Minions. All right. Raw Champion goes invisible. We'll push her, push her into the... No, we Infernos don't. and the oh man! All right, well. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> there is some sinking in my all these uh, super minions, so some of them are getting hit. But Eric, don't you have a feeling that it's still like so much left? Like we are bad bombing the scatter shot on the left side. Uh, I guess mm -hmm. he will be aiming for the scatter shot with the warden on the right side there. Yeah, I mean the battle build is gonna shut down the bats are the problem. Like there's a. Uh, a lot of base left here. I don't know that this has There's a chance so to go spells, through. Like three freeze, yeah. two invisibilities. He recalled the uh, super minions. Like I guess that's only what he could do because he doesn't. Yeah, but want why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, Warden is down, oh. and this attack is falling flat. I I gotta find out who this player is because honestly, I have no idea. So I'm gonna figure that out real quick before this next attack. Okay, I thought if I, if I seeing witches, I would say like, okay, you sneak in the alt, but no, we yeah. went here with the super minion, so. Yeah, nice right. try, nice try there, and we're still looking good for our Chasma here, even if after that one star, we are still, our Chasma base are uh, still holding well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just... Just asking him right now. See if they have any information for me. Oh wait, who's even online right now? Nobody's online. Oh. Probably not online right now. I'm just uh, so Bernal is uh, missing from the lineup. <clears throat> yeah. Bernal is missing from the lineup. Mm-hmm. He's not in the lineup. Hmm. All right. All right, Detective uh, Eric. Let's see if you can get us answer. But as you can see, you know guys, we're still gonna have uh, four attacks, and I really enjoying this match. Like, big, big shout out to both teams for doing this, because they are bringing some interesting uh, strategy, and it is really uh, fun to watch that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, you can't expect uh, many triples here. Like, the, the fact that uh, GS was able to get two triples uh, right away there was pretty impressive. But, like, Navi's gonna end with two triples, so, like, it's okay. <laughs> Like, it's just, they're just gonna pull, pull a full reverse on this war. Like, they're still gonna end up winning this. Like, we'll see. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Here we go. Oh, Yadi, live for Chazmac GS. Another attack with Super Barbarians. The double hero charge and the recall. 
Now, they've been successful with a very close attack to what this is already. But this one, not going to leave the Eagle Artillery to the very end of the attack there. And that gives me a little bit more confidence in it. But obviously, it is an extremely difficult attack to make work in general here, Susie. Mm -hmm. I just got a message in my chat that uh, number five is uh, Komankun. That he is playing uh, today under Davi. Wait. Doesn't he normally play with... No, he normally plays with Absolute Zero, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... Alright, that's cool. <laughs> He's a good player, too. <laughs> you, well, you, you he struggled a bit guys. there. You approved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kobaku's good. He's definitely uh, scored the thumbnail on more than one videos on the channel here, so... Alright. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I like this ward of walking from the bottom side of the base here, but the Eagle Artillery is activated and targeting the Queen! Watch yeah, the Queen! Watch the Queen! <laughs> All right, Eric. Let's... She's gone. <laughs> All right, so like he was planning to get rid of this building around the Dread Spell Tower. Now it's gonna be uh -huh. big threat. Like uh, we are going with the crazy army. Like we have super barbs, right? And we lost the I... queen, which should clear the top side of the base. Yeah. Hey, remember I said uh, watch out for the Eagle Artillery? Yeah, you did. And uh, I, ha I was such an important target to take down early in a double hero charge. It's now like... down. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's down now. A little bit late, but I guess it's technically down. Yeah. You should have. There was a. There was one way to recover that. Like if you recall the queen before the eagle artillery strikes hit, but you gotta realize as it's happening and then wreck very quickly. And obviously that is a very difficult thing to do when you're in the middle of an attack here. But he needs yeah. to secure the town hall takedown. Otherwise, he's gonna end up with another one star and another opportunity for. That would like completely negate all of their uh, triples right now if he doesn't get the town hall down. But I think he's gonna get it. He's got plenty of spells. He's got. He's got a lot of spells, actually. Three yeah. rages, recall, freezes. Oh yeah, he's gonna get it, no problem. Oh my god, that's uh, RC. <laughs> okay, the mono <laughs> on the royal champion, but we are good with that invisibility spell. And he actually recalling her out of the range of the mono so that's gonna allow him to grab a few more buildings. But yeah, this will be like a two star. I really hope mm -hmm. that we can push like something for 80%. Maybe I'm trying to be. <laughs> I don't know, but I think he still can get something. Like, he still has Warden, and he has still spells, you know? Oh. On top, there's seven Super Barbarians yet to be deployed already, so he can definitely pick up a lot of the trash on the left side of the base here. If he gets a path into this monolith and keeps the Warden tanking it, then he can clear out that entire area. He's going to push in the mid-80s here. Mm -hmm. And that's good. That's a really nice uh, try. Like, it would be interesting again to see if that Queen survive, you know? Because right. like so far, like he was able to clear everything on the bottom side, and maybe mm -hmm. that queen being there, I don't know. But it was a really decent plan, so very nice try from him. Well, everything that is still remaining on the base would have been the things that the queen would have been heading directly towards. So like, mm -hmm. the the plan was clearly there to handle that area of the base there. If he just didn't have the queen up, and obviously that puts a puts a a tree branch in his spokes. What do you want to say here? I don't know. Something like that. Enter whatever jinx you want to put in there. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we still have two hits from Navi. We have Kazuma and a star. So we say that Navi still luck. can get it, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I guess we're going to be like? ready to see triple. Oh, oh, wait. I looked at the percentages here for a second, and I, I thought since the second numbers were exactly the same, that uh, Navi could triple and tie it, but no, they'd be like a full 50% behind if they do, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's get one on the board here for Navi. Kazuma will make an attempt with 15 Valkyries, recall, and a bunch of sneaky goblins with healers. Yeah, we have. Another attempt at this. Mm. Who was uh, doing the uh, attack with the balls? I think it was from Chas Mac's side, right? So. Um, now uh, I have short term memory loss, so I forgot, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I right. tried, though, I tried. <laughs> okay, so with that many sneakies, I, I guess we will try to go for the town hall, but we have a lot of storages, like four storages there. Wow, that moon became some of the air traps, and he already starting here on the, with the queen charge. As you can see, there is three infernos, eagle. Uh, I guess we have some super wall breakers, so if that queen can clear it, that would be very nice value for her. Whoa, if that queen helped. Right. <gasps> yeah. All right, another queen going to an early ability, and she'll 
You need a wall break into this multi inferno, otherwise she's gonna wrap around. No, she's got an open wall there. I guess she can walk right in. And she is gonna walk right in, so has that under control here. Flame Flinger getting a little bit close to the that ground expo range, and now ground scale is running at it. It oh, is getting baby. targeted. Yep. Okay. Well, you at least get the funnel formed over there. And the troops will deploy out. Looks like more Valkyries inside of there. And Recall redeploys the Queen down to the bottom of the base here. And the funnel is formed there by everything that has gone in so far. And Stinky Goblins will go in and secure the talent takedown. So an invisibility to get them through. That's no issue. And now we're going to see if Valkyries have enough punch to push through this core. Long push here though, Susie. Yeah, he got a, he only have that one heal spell, but he's still gonna have the warden ability to try to protect them. And I really like that Royal Champion coming from that south side. Like if she can uh, uh, pass into us that second multi inferno, very nice freeze on that expo, so the Royal Champion not taking that early damage. And we also using the King paneling uh, the corner there as well. Like he's still getting a nice push with the walls, but right now they're stuck right. on the wall. Yeah, but they're going to break that wall and get out of the back side of the base here. And the Royal Champion pushing through to the Multi-Inferno. He's got everything under control here. I think it's actually triple. He's got more Valkyries on standby. Wall breaking to get some access to the last couple of buildings there. That's not really doing much, but he's still got the King, Queen, and the... the there's so much here. He's absolutely got it. This is completely under control here, Susie. And on top of that... He's got two swag poisons to send in that many Valkyries into attack and that weird of a plan and lose your flame finger early and come out of it with two swag poisons. And there we go. Score is tied up and it's going to come down to the final exchange. Okay. That was a really good attack. I'm not going to lie. Kazuma, like... Head down, yeah, that was a really awesome hit. Like, how you say that Flame Flinger broke early, right? Because of the expo, and he still, like, that was, wasn't even close. He still has so big army left. Swacking some poison spells, seriously, seriously solid attack from him, and yeah. Okay, so what we have left? Kilaha. Kilaha will be attacking last for uh, Chasmak, and if he hit a 3 star, we have the person. Well. He's gonna miss, and then Stars, the best player in the world, is gonna triple on the final attack, and then Navi's gonna win this, and then uh, then they can gloat about it, and then and then the the you it's just because you jinxed the uh, Chasmac, like you. I told you they were gonna one star, and then Navi is gonna make the comeback. Like I predicted how this war was gonna go, and now it's happening. Here we go. Kilaha in for the Ooh, final attack God. from GS. He's Five gonna miss bullets. this. He's, he's gonna miss this because Susie or Su Susie jinxed him. And I just realized that I uh, I almost said Susie and Jinx in the same word, and it ended up being juicy. That was weird. But <laughs> oh no! Now they're gonna call me like that. <laughs> Why did you even? Oh my god, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Okay, that clan castle was invisible twice. I don't know. He has yeah. still three more skelly spells, but I don't think so. He's gonna oh, even try. Nope. No, this nope, light, the nope. skellies are disappearing already. So, yeah, we have early spree swag there. That's fine. You know, that is still okay, but. Going Is like OG oh, here with the five <laughs> golems and the wizard. Now I am a little bit worried. Well, the the the. The biggest advantage that Chazmac has right now is their percentage. It's because they have, uh, they came into this with like a 50% advantage. So they're definitely set up, but he does invest that blimp to go secure the town hall. Getting that rage tower with sneaky goblins and making sure that it arrives there. Extracted some of the healers. Looks like one got left behind. But uh, five golems is a lot when you already brought that many healers, but the headhunters oh, immediately lock on the board again, and he's gone. This is doomed. He's not going to make it, Susie. It's over, and stars will decide the war. Hey, don't give up that easily, okay? We still <laughs> have a bunch of army. <laughs> you can't okay. trouble with this. You're, you're crazy. <laughs> she's, she's really hanging on to the hope on this one, guys. <laughs> We lost the water, it's fine. We still have a bunch of golems, okay? So they're gonna be tanking for these heroes. Like, this golem is gonna be amazing, and heroes are gonna be so sneaky and sniping all these defenses behind. You will see. Alright, invisibility well, he... spell on the queen. That is the mm -hmm. rage spell tower, rage multi, 
rage ego are they already when we have the shield the monolith finishing okay i'm scared this is very low percent but they came into it with a 50 percent advantage so I think they're still going to have the percentage advantage regardless because of the big misses out of Navi at the start of the war there. So if I, if my numbers aren't wrong, then which I'm pretty sure they are right. Yeah, look at the percentages. They were literally exactly 50% off of a single attack ahead coming to this. So they're going to have advantage. It is going to be a triple required from stars to be able to make a comeback on this one here. So Chazmax still has this one in the bag if they can hold him back. But obviously, Stars is one of the most difficult players to stop in the world, and their work is cut out for him. So we'll see what Stars has. Yeah, just give more That'll compliments about the Stars. Keep keep going, you know? Mm -hmm. Tell oh, yeah, yeah, how yeah. amazing <laughs> he is, how he's going to smash this base and all the stuff, you know? Keep, keep. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. This? Oh, my. So, yeah, Killa had a very nice try from him, but the Killa is the last man standing for Chasmak AGS. And, yeah, Stars will go against him. So, it is a triple or nothing, right? Yeah, 83.60 they need a yep. three star. Okay. Yep, I'm just pulling up the uh, the Legend League leaderboards right now and showing that uh, last season, Stars was number two in the world as his final position. So, like, obviously, he's he's pretty ridiculous there. So, you know, easy day for him, right? Is the stream glitching? No, it's not that the stream is glitching. It's that the Matrix is trying to invade my computer right now. So, like, they're they're shutting me down. They've realized that we're jinxing too hard here, and they're going after us. No, I think they're, so they're he's using us. some kind of special energy and power <laughs> to totally jinx. Just right, right. Like yes, because we were doing got... well, and after your uh, screen started blinking and everything, and we are hitting uh -huh, one uh -huh. star and all this stuff, you know, so... <laughs> that's, that's true. It's, uh, we're... We're channeling the jinx so hard, it's causing glitches in the wires. It's yeah, pretty exactly. crazy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 48 uh, seconds. Imagine fell asleep here. No, that, that's what my chat's saying right now. They're, they're saying stars wake up. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. The war comes down to this. It is a super barbarian, electro dragon, Valkyrie healer. And he's got a hound in the mix as well. What is this plan? He's definitely got a weird lineup of troops. And with the war on the line, we'll see if he can make it work. Where do we start? Yeah, I guess we'll be just waiting to see what he's actually gonna have to do. So he's using that invisibility okay. spell on the air defense. Okay, pushing okay. the uh, lava. All right. Okay, so he will be blizzarding. He, he, he stars and he loves blizzard, so. He will yes. be blizzarding here, and this can be very nice blizzard, Eric. Oh yeah, he got inside of that Eagle Artillery wow. area, and he's able to land on it and take the Inferno out of the core of the base here. He's oh, in move south now. Nice. He locks on the Lava Hound, but that's going to hurt a little bit here. That's going to slow him down. He still has this last Invisibility still active, but the Multi-Inferno stays standing. Yeah. He got the centered Multi-Inferno, so yeah, that true. might be a sufficient amount of value that he can work with this. Oh, okay, the, there is a bunch of Teslas as we drop that E-Dragon here. Also have to fight these Lava Pups. It should be easy with the Poison Freezing, that multi Inferno. but now the E-Dragon is in the range of the air defense. So, okay. prepare only for the E-Dragon. Mm. Yeah, he missed both of the Multi-Infernos that he was intending to go after there. But the King's gonna dive into that compartment, and unfortunately for him, the Rage Tower is gonna go off on him and boost the damage of these Expos. So he's going to be under a lot of fire here, but he'll wall break the queen forward. The wall breaker is going to need a second wall breaker to actually get into that scatter shot compartment. Obviously, the first one is walled off there from being having any chance of accessing that. Tornado king, trap. The phoenix. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. There's so many uh, traps that the king is there now are. near to the multi inferno, but also we have the skellies. King Nil even got the multi inferno that was insane traps, slowing mm -hmm. down the king. He's opening the wall for the queen so she can grab the uh, town hall. The skellies trying to okay. distract the monolith that's actually working. No, it's monolith is back on the queen. Come on, queen. Hold in there, hold in there. Skeletons. Oh, oh she's got. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh. It's over! It's over! I mean, there was a lot of things that definitely went wrong in that. The traps were were causing problems there, and I guess the, the Jinx powers were too strong. They're so strong, they're causing my screen to glitch out. It's crazy over here, guys. But Stars is not going to be able to pull it through here, and 
I mean, wait, I hope I'm not calling it too soon here. I don't think he can pull through. I don't think he has enough time even if he could pull it off right now. But it is going to be a win for Chazmac GS in this war. So, <laughs> Susie, uh, this just makes me even more hyped up here for the Susie Cup getting started. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> one, honestly, this one was amazing match. Big, big shout out to both teams. Like, we had so much fun, so many interesting plans. Thank you very much, Eric, for jinxing the Navi. That was amazing job. Definitely thumbs up for that. And I hope so we can do this for the future Golden Ticket tournaments, you know? Just keep uh, doing what no, you are no. doing. We're, and we're I not going to jinx it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I will be happy about it. But yeah. Uh, guys, so this one is kind of show match before the Suzy uh, Cup will be kicking off. Uh, officially, will be kicking off from the 1st of May. We will be opening uh, the first open qualifier. We have already over 250 teams uh, registered uh, for Suzy uh, Cup. And I want to also give shout out to uh, sponsors. So big, big shout out to uh, VN, uh, Sal. UDG for helping me uh, manage all the admin stuff and big big shout out to Karina for that all amazing uh, artwork she already doing with the help from uh, Jason as well. But Eric, this one was seriously a lot of fun. So, so close. It was. So, so there's only one left thing left to do and that is for everybody watching this on YouTube to Drop Susie a uh, follow and sub to our YouTube channel. So I'll put a link for both of those in the pinned comment and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.